Hey, earlier tonight, James Shields, who uh, was terrific, only gave up four hits through seven innings against the Minnesota Twins, <laughs> pulled this off. And they initially called it a balk. But after Rick Rectoria came out and argued, they met, the umpire and crew met together and they decided, you know what, this is not a balk. Well, they messed up. Harold Reynolds <laughs> lost his mind. Ryan Dempster is trying to explain to Harold, this is a clean play. So this is the perfect opportunity to bring you back inside Studio 42. We have a mound. Ryan, why was that play from James Shields legal? Okay. So, there's throwing to first base. When you're doing a pickoff, throw to first base as we get down towards my feet. All right. This is, get I'm loving this, this already. All right. All right. And I go to first base. There's what's called clearing the rubber. All right. So now I'm going to step and throw it over to first base. See that? Okay. What yeah, am I watching? I'm watching your feet. Again. You're watching we'll watch my feet. feet. Watch, watch feet your are? feet. Okay, check this out. Boom. What he does there, say I'm looking in, right? And I come set. And I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting. What do they do? Step off. And I go like this. I step behind the rubber. Uh -huh. It's legal, right? Break my hands. Once I, once I clear behind the rubber, I can't break my hands and then clear. Okay. All right? Yep. James Shields actually steps behind you can see his foot behind the rubber like that so he's actually going boom and then he's picking he's not picking off that would be a step off throw over he actually does that movement you're now legal to go whoop and then step back you can throw there. it anywhere if you step behind you the can rubber, because you, you feel like it and once you step off the rubber you become an infielder when you step yeah, off i can literally go like this if the, i can go I can do whatever I want because now I've cleared the rubber, and that's what he did in that situation. Okay, now let's give you your regular move. Yep. And then don't throw it. You go here, and you do that. That's a box. Yeah. Okay. So you're saying he cleared. I don't believe it. If you agree. look, James Shields has always had that really, like, you know, he gets down here, and he's like. Yep. He does and that he's whole always, thing. He's always had, like, a good pickoff move, right? He's had quick feet to first base. Right. If you look, and you look in slow motion, he steps. And as he steps, his toe is right touching the back of that rubber, just like that. So can we see it in slow motion? Let's, let's watch James Shields' feet. Watch him step just behind the rubber right here. Boom. Nope. Yep. That's all in one move. Here's my argument. All right? You have a – I'm going to show you another picture. All right, let's come back on camera. Well, I want to see clearly where his feet were. Well, here's, we the, here's the, the angle. We'll, we'll look at this. But it, it's not a step back. It's a step to the side. And this is just like he's going to throw to first base. That's a throw to first. That ain't no step back. I would like to see an overhead camera. On. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, so come back on. I'll be the pitcher this time. Excuse me, okay. Mr. Dumpster. All okay. right. Now, if I'm a pitcher and I do this, is that stepping back? No, you're still on the rubber. You're I'm st still on the rubber. Or if I go there and you're I'm still spinning. on the rubber. It's still my motion. You got to do what James, James Shields, Shields did and step right behind here. the rubber. He goes like this. No, and a little he stops. bit, a little bit farther back. Move if he, foot a little bit if his back. foot, though, Ryan, is to the side of the rubber, is Harold correct? If his foot is still engaged with the rubber, then it, then it's then it's not a step back. He has to go behind the rubber. He has to step back behind the rubber. If you look, he goes right onto his toe. To me, this I feel like something that he's practiced before. And he's oh, been he's ready practiced to do. this move. It was genius. And it really was. I'll give you that. I'll give it to you. It was genius. Can we see it again? Because here's the, the deception of it all. It's, clearly, he's trying to deceive the runner, which is great. But I want to look at it again. Now we've seen different perspectives. Can we go to the first one, too? The front angle as well. We'll go through all of them. they got three or four looks for us here. All right, guys? So hang with us on this and check it out. Now I want you to look where his foot actually goes to. It's to the side. It's not back. It's not a step off. That is to the side of the rubber. That's a balk. If you look at it, just there's a slight backwards movement. It's a little bit back, and it's a little to the side. I mean, it's slick. It is a slick move. He worked on this and perfected it to genius, but I still think it's a balk. The one thing I don't understand about all of this through this whole moment, if that's the time you're going to choose to pull this out, so there's scouts in the stands. Right? Well, it, it was a people, set play. You see the yeah. third baseman breaking to the bag but as he's going to first base. The problem was the third baseman was in a shift. Right. I believe that was Max Kepler at the plate. He was too far over. So now you've done that play and you didn't use that. Look how far over he is. You can't beat that guy to third base. 
You know, so now you do that step off move. He's getting and back it, safe. And, anyway. and now all the scouts go, wait a second. Hey, watch for the step off fake throw to first. In a situation like that, maybe not the best place to pull it off. You want to do that when your third baseman's closer, you know, when you have a guy that you're going to take advantage but of the aggressive. Here's, real quick, we see so many shifts with a guy at third base, which has now become like mainstream. And we see the base runner go, well, I know they're not going to go here. I'll go halfway down the line. So maybe just showing that move for Keeps James him Shields. a little bit closer. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And, and, and what it does, first and third, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to get you to throw it over there because I'm going to break. As soon as he goes here to throw, I'm running because I know he's got to deliver. He can't stop. That's a box.